Hello, I'm Teacher Elise, and today we are going to be reading The Very Noisy Foxes by Amy Husband. In a very noisy house, in a very noisy city, there lived three very noisy foxes. Wouldn't it be nice to just be quiet sometimes? asked fox number one. Perhaps we should move to the countryside, suggested fox number two. What a good idea, replied fox number three. So they packed up all of their very noisy things and caught the very noisy bus to find a place to live in the very quiet countryside. Toot toot, beep beep beep. In a very quiet wood, in the very quiet countryside, they met an owl. Toot toot, who are you? Hooted the owl. We are from the very noisy city, looking for a very quiet place to live, replied fox number one. Where do you live, owl? I live up here at the top of this very tall, quiet tree, the owl said. Oh yes, it is very quiet, but it's too high for us, said fox number one. We're scared. Next, in a very quiet meadow, in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a mole who popped out of the ground. Hello, mole. We are from the noisy city, looking for a quiet place to live. Can you help us? asked fox number two. Oh yes, I live in a very quiet place, replied the mole. Follow me and I'll show you. I live here in this very quiet hole underground, said the mole. Oh yes, it is very quiet, but it is too dark for us, said fox number two. We can't see. He says, and I'm stuck. In a very quiet clearing in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. What do you three noisy foxes want? The frog asked. We are looking for a quiet place to live, said fox number three. Where do you live, frog? Come with me and I'll show you, replied the frog. I live here in this very quiet pond, said the frog. Oh yes, it is very quiet indeed, but it is too wet for us, said fox number three. And we can't swim. So the three noisy foxes kept searching for a very, very long time, and they ended up in the very quietest part of the countryside, a long, long way from the very noisy city. As they ventured along the very quiet path, they met a badger. Hello, badger. We are looking for a quiet place to live, said the noisy foxes. Can you help us? We have looked everywhere. Yes, of course, follow me, replied the badger. This is where I live, said the badger. It is the quietest place in all the countryside. Oh yes, it really is very quiet and very lovely. It just might be the perfect place, said the noisy foxes, but it is just too quiet. Hmm. The noisy foxes were really fed up with being quiet, so they started to make some noise. As they banged and clanged and chittered and chattered, a quiet little mouse scurried up to them. What is all this noise about? asked the quiet little mouse. We need a place to live, but it can't be too high, it can't be too dark, it can't be too wet, and it definitely can't be too quiet. I know the perfect place squeaked the mouse. Follow me. Well done, little mouse. This really is the perfect place. 
And the foxes ended up back at their noisy house in the noisy city. That is the end of our story for today. I hope you have a wonderful day.